Very scratchy. Only the right channel, but it shows it has potential. Uh, but there were two spots <clears throat> I couldn't get solder to stick, so I don't I don't know what's going on there. But we got the right channel, so it's worth to give it another try. And of course, if this fails completely, if I can't get both channels working satisfactorily to be able to use it for dubbing, I've got the other one with the same problem that uh, broken. I hear it inside. Uh, maybe I just pay to have someone do it correctly and not screw it up worse. But still, that's cool. We had limited success. Do you hear the hens? Do you hear those hens, don't you? Yeah. Well, obviously not completely successful because it's really not usable with all that scratching and only the right channel. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know, but the neat thing is I got five of those little suckers I got for, geez, under five bucks. But still, the semi-success, look at that. I guess I could still use it for some types of dubbing, like if I had a loud tone that I could hear, you know, when to start this or whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to consider it a qualified success. Well, half success, they only have one channel. <laughs> Well, okay, it's the next morning. Um, I'd use some uh, AB epoxy and put my um, module, glued it right to the case here, and as you can see, it's pretty tight. Plug it in and out, just like I would have with the one that should have been here. But due to the space and the inability to uh, separate the uh, circuit boards to do the soldering, I just did a job like this. Works great. Got my both uh, left and right channels. Everything works great, so I saved a $150 recorder. Yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Of course, you know, I have to be careful of snagging these wires on stuff, but even if that happened, I could always resolder it. I've got four more of those modules. That all cost me under five bucks. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. You know, in this time right now, when just Everything seems so out of control, especially in California now with these fires and, um, you know, the COVID, everything. We just feel, I don't know, powerless in a way. And it's little things like this, repairing something and making something useful again that um, really makes me feel better. A little bit. But still, my prayers and thoughts are, are with everybody out there battling these blazes and the victims of the fires. It's just, just terrible. Worst timing possible, don't you think? Little victories like this that just, um, I don't know, can make you feel a lot better. Yeah, I got rid of my COVID face. What does it matter? <laughs>